Alright, here we are, a day later. Only well, needed four hours, but we waited a little extra. I'm um, starting to wonder about the Tupperware because of the ridged bottom. But, we're going to see. Again, the noobs guy here. I can feel it breaking away from the plastic, which I feel is a good sign. Fingers underneath. Okay, seeing that was the problem, it overfilled, but I think that, that perfect match of the Tupperware. So, actually, you know what? We're going to stop the video because I'm just going to go get a knife, a razor, and just cut this flashing off, and we'll come back. All right, real quick before this battery dies. Managed to get all the junk out of here. Cleaned up the mold. Next up is casting. All right, so we have cleaned out the mold here, and we are going to be pouring the resin. So I'm using Smoothcast 325 because this stuff is supposed to stay uh, translucent, and you can dye it. That's what this is over here. This is the so strong color dyes. I need orange. They unfortunately didn't have any orange, but they do have red and yellow. So we're going to see if we can't mix them. So I obviously don't need a ton. Um, same as before, we're using plastic cups. Um, I think well before using. Uh, this stuff though only has a pot life of two and a half minutes, and it's cured in ten minutes. So we should actually be able to have this done pretty quickly. Um, also, I've heard a good trick is to take the part B. Hey Claire, can you turn that down? Um, is to take the part B and mix the color in the part B to kind of get an idea of what you're looking at for the final product. So, I also don't know how much I'm going to need to fill this in. We've got our, uh, our trusty scale here, so I'm thinking... I don't know if two ounces is going to be too much. I'm going to go, I guess I'll start with one ounce of each, and then we'll mix them and see what happens. Okay. Let's try. I also wanted to get a medicine dropper to do the color, but I wasn't able to, I forgot to grab one today. This is making a mess.
Okay, that's one ounce of the part B. I'm gonna have to clean this up after, so we'll see. Okay, now I heard that these so strong tint colors go a little bit goes a long way. I don't have an eyedropper, so we're just gonna use a toothpick. drop of the red. Let's try a drop of the yellow. Okay, so we got a drop of red and a drop of yellow in here. Let's mix that up. Wow. That, holy cow, I was not kidding. A little bit goes a long way is right. Look at that. It's pretty orange. Well, let's close these little pots here. I don't think we're going to need, I think that's probably going to be enough. So we've got our part two, and we're working against the clock here. This stuff sets up pretty quickly. The reason I was making such a mess, I just realized, is because of the aluminum foil on the edges here, causing everything to spill over. trials here are also causing probably more harm than they are help of trying to get this stuff off. So, hmm. I'm going to go one ounce of this stuff. of the part A. Now I'm starting to wonder whether or not that's going to be enough. Actually, we don't need the third cup. We just pour it in here. Hey Claire, come here for a sec. Do I have you? Yeah, I want your opinion on this yellow or this orange. If it looks orange or if it looks more red. It looks to me Tomato tomato. I'll do a little bit more yellow. Like I literally did just like, like I stuck the tip in. And then, like, like one drop like that. That's all I did, one of each color, and that's what I got. Okay. Put that in. Does that lighten it up at all? Do you have to put a little bit more? No, it shouldn't matter. Because the color you can put in after the fact.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that was... I'm, I'm not going to call it the perfect pour, but I think that, that I picked exactly enough to fill this mold. Obviously getting a little sloppy here. And it's starting to thicken up as you can see. There you go. So, yeah, as you can see, it's already starting to thicken up and heat up. Coagulate. Because this stuff has a very short cure time. So we're going to throw this out. Might as well, we're just going to wait the 10 minutes, because that's all it takes. And then uh, we'll try to demold this. Again, didn't do any mold release. Maybe I should have. Um, we'll see in a few minutes. Okay, well, we are well past our 10 minute mark of waiting. It's already hard. Here comes the moment of truth. How easy is this going to demold? Kind of finish are we getting at? It's the beauty of silicone, it's nice and flexible. There you have it, came right out. Um, it's gonna need some some trimming. The the mold itself seems to have given it kind of milky texture on the outside. I'm sure if we probably polish that right out and then trim off the flashing, but there you have it. That is translucent. Light shines through it. Full of bubbles it looks like. But that's okay, because you can't actually fully see through what I'm trying to replicate anyway. So I'd say, successful bench test. Thanks for coming along for the ride, guys. Uh, we'll see what else we end up doing in the future.